What if I told you that scientists in China have found a way to reverse diabetes, not just manage it, but potentially cure it? No more insulin shots? No more constant monitoring? Sounds like science fiction? It's real and it's happening now. Stick around to discover how this groundbreaking stem cell therapy could change millions of lives. Hey everyone, welcome back to Medical Miracle, where we dive deep into the latest breakthroughs in science and health that could change your life. Imagine you're living with diabetes, pricking your finger multiple times a day, calculating every carb, and relying on insulin shots just to stay alive. Now, picture waking up one day and it's gone. No more injections, no more constant worry. Well, recently, Chinese scientists have made it a reality for some patients by reversing both type 1 and type 2 diabetes using cutting-edge stem cell therapy. This isn't hype, it's a potential game-changer that's already freeing people from lifelong medication. But is it a true cure? Who can benefit? When will it be available to you? And what about the costs and risks? Stick around because today we're breaking it all down in this comprehensive video. If you're one of the 500 million people worldwide battling diabetes, or you know someone who is, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's get into it. What is diabetes and why is it such a big deal? Before we jump into this revolutionary treatment, let's quickly cover the basics of diabetes to understand why this breakthrough is so massive. Diabetes is a chronic condition where your body either doesn't produce enough insulin, a hormone made by the pancreas that regulates blood sugar, or doesn't use it effectively. There are two main types, type 1 diabetes, or T1D. This is an autoimmune disease where the body's immune system attacks and destroys the insulin-producing beta cells in the pancreas. It usually starts in childhood or young adulthood, and people with T1D need lifelong insulin therapy. About 5 to 10% of diabetics have type 1. Type 2 diabetes, or T2D, this is more common, affecting 90 to 95% of cases, and is often linked to lifestyle factors like obesity, poor diet, and inactivity. Here, the body becomes resistant to insulin, and over time, the pancreas can't keep up. It can be managed with diet, exercise, and meds, but many end up needing insulin too. Globally, over 537 million adults have diabetes, and it's exploding, projected to hit 783 million by 2045. In China alone, there are about 140 million cases, making it the epicenter of this epidemic. Complications? We're talking heart disease, kidney failure, nerve damage, blindness, and even amputations. It cost healthcare systems billions, over $760 billion worldwide annually. And for patients, it's a daily grind of monitoring and fear of hypo or hyperglycemia. Traditional treatments manage symptoms, but don't cure the root cause, the loss of those vital insulin-producing cells. That's where stem cell therapy comes in, and China is leading the charge. The Breakthrough – How Stem Cell Therapy Is Reversing Diabetes Fast forward to 2024 and 2025, Chinese researchers have pioneered a stem cell-based approach that's not just managing diabetes, it's reversing it by regenerating those lost insulin-producing cells. This isn't about donor transplants or daily drugs, it's using the patient's own cells to rebuild what diabetes destroyed. Here's how it works in simple terms. Step one, cell extraction. Doctors take cells from the patient, often fat cells via a quick liposuction-like procedure or peripheral blood cells. These are easy to get and abundant. Step two, reprogramming. Using chemical molecules inspired by Nobel Prize winner Shinya Yamanaka's work, they turn these cells into induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPSCs. These are like blank slate stem cells that can become any cell type. Step three, differentiation. The iPSCs are then guided in a lab to become islet cells, the clusters in the pancreas that produce insulin. Step four, transplantation. About one and a half million of these lab-grown islet cells are injected back into the patient, often into the abdominal muscles, for easy monitoring via MRI. The whole surgery, just 30 minutes. Because the cells come from the patient, autologous, there's minimal risk of rejection and no need for heavy immunosuppressive drugs in most cases. This is a huge leap over older methods like pancreatic transplants, which require donors and lifelong anti-rejection meds. 
This key milestone, in 2024, a 25-year-old woman with T1D became the world's first to produce her own insulin after this therapy. Within 75 days, she was insulin independent, and over a year later, her blood sugar is stable 96% of the time. For T2D, a 59-year-old man treated in 2021 has been off insulin for 33 months and doesn't need any oral meds. By mid-2025, reports show 10 out of 12 severe T1D patients cured with a single infusion, and one hospital claims 24 patients are insulin-free. This is regenerative medicine at its finest, fixing the pancreas from the inside out. Who is getting benefit? So who stands to gain the most from this? Primarily, insulin-dependent diabetics, those with advanced T1D or T2D, where the pancreas has lost its ability to produce enough insulin. T1D patients, anyone whose beta cells have been destroyed by autoimmunity. The therapy restores natural insulin production, freeing them from injections and constant monitoring. Early trials focused on adults, but it could expand to kids. T2D patients, those with long-term disease where beta cell exhaustion has set in. It's especially promising for the 40 million in China who need insulin daily. Broader impact? Globally, this could benefit over 500 million diabetics, reducing healthcare burdens and improving quality of life. Imagine eating what you want without fear. Patients in trials report just that. It's a lifeline for those in developing countries where insulin access is limited. But it's not for everyone yet. Mild cases might still rely on lifestyle changes or meds. When will this therapy be available? The big question, when can you get it? Right now it's experimental, limited to clinical trials in China, like those at Peking University and Shanghai Changzhen Hospital. Trials are expanding to 10 to 20 more patients, with results expected by late 2025. Globally, similar therapies like Vertex's VX880 in the US are in phase one and two, but China's autologous approach is ahead. Experts say full approval and widespread availability could take three to five years, needing larger phase three trials for safety and efficacy. In the US or Europe, add time for FDA or EMA reviews, maybe five to 10 years, but medical tourism to China could speed access for some. What will it cost? Let's talk money. This isn't cheap yet, but it's potentially life-changing. In China, stem cell therapy for diabetes ranges from $7,000 to $40,000 per session, depending on the hospital and protocol. A full package could hit $15,000 to $50,000, including screening, $500 to $800, the therapy itself, $10,000 to $15,000, and follow-up. If it reaches the U.S., expect $50,000 to $500,000 due to higher regs and manufacturing costs, though scalability could drop it. Insurance? Unlikely until approved, so out of pocket for now. Compared to lifelong insulin, $2,000 to $10,000 per patient, a one-time cure could pay for itself. Any side effects? The risks you need to know. No treatment is risk-free. In trials, no major side effects were reported, patients tolerated it well, but potential risks include immune rejection, minimal with own cells, but T1D's autoimmunity could attack new cells long-term. Tumorogenesis. Stem cells could form tumors if not fully differentiated, though chemical methods reduce this. Ectopic tissue. Cells growing in wrong places. Immunosuppression side effects if needed, rare here, like infections or organ issues. Long-term data, five plus years, is still needed, but so far, it's safer than alternatives. Challenges and global impact. Challenges remain. Scaling production for millions, addressing T1D's autoimmunity fully, and navigating farmer resistance. Insulin is a $20 billion industry. Globally, this could inspire more research, like combining with immunomodulation. It's also sparking debates on ethics and access inequalities. We've covered a lot today, from the science behind China's stem cell miracle to who benefits, when it's coming, costs, risks, and more. This isn't just a treatment, it's hope for a diabetes-free future. While we're not there yet, these 2025 updates show we're closer than ever. If you're affected by diabetes, talk to your doctor about emerging trials. What do you think? Game changer or too soon? Drop your thoughts in the comments, share this video, and subscribe for more health breakthroughs. Thanks for watching, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.